Hello folks and welcome to today's video. We're actually going to be exploring another site here in Delhi and the site that we're going to be visiting is actually famous for being in a flower shape. And some articles even report this particular monument to be even more visited than the Taj Mahal. And that's none other than the Lotus Temple here in Delhi. The temple was modelled after the beautiful lotus flower as it is a symbol of enlightenment and purity that is inseparably linked with worship and faith not only in India but many Southeast Asian countries. Now the lotus temple is a Baha'i temple and it's one of 11 temples around the world with this one being the only one in Asia. The faith of Baha'i welcomes all religions and faiths and aims to unite humanity as one. And it was founded, I believe, in Iran in the 19th century. So it's one of the newer faiths around. Okay, let's now talk about the structure of the Lotus Temple. It's a nine-sided dome. It features nine main pedals, nine ponds, and nine entrances. So the number nine has really been reflected in this monument and this building has been designed in a way where it can withstand the harshest of earthquakes here in Delhi because each one of the pedals uh, has been designed as a freestanding unit constructed on concrete and covered with white marble sourced from Greece. The temple was finished and opened to the public in 1986 and it takes up 26 hectares of land including a very expansive green lush garden that I'm standing in right now. The wind here is starting to pick up and I think it's about time we probably head inside before it starts pouring down with rain. Where is this rain coming from? You know, uh, in Delhi, when it rains, it rains hard and it rains in, um, in intervals. <laughs> where, where do I leave my shoes? In the bag? Okay. Hello sir, can I get a bag? I'll get a bag. Oh, everybody just grabs a bag. I'm gonna have to take my socks off. Oh, whoa, 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 it started raining hard. Pouring down with rain, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, sir, sorry. Gotta be careful that I don't slip. Please deposit your shoes. Ready? Oh wow. I really should have brought my umbrella, man. Oh, uh, UK. Oh, these guys are taking forever. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? I was actually able to hide in there for a little bit to take some shelter, but uh, really hasn't helped that much. I'm still kind of drenched and so is everybody else. And uh, now I can deposit my shoes very easily without any question. Thank you. There we are. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. She actually helped me there. Oh. Well, we've emerged. In the event that it does rain like it did today, when you're here, there are some cubicles in which you can hide in because um, I do see people entering there and coming out of them. So yeah, you don't have to actually hide in the shoe house like I try to. So the stairway features these brown ceramic tiles. And I go all the way up to the temple with a straw carpet, giving it a nice kind of gold and brown contrast. Ooh, there's a lot of people. Hey, hey look, these are the pools I was talking to you about. My goodness. Now, on a dry day, you would be able to sit on these sort of slanted seats and really spend a lot of time taking in the magnificent views of this Lotus Temple. Um, it will soon dry up, I hope, but the sun right now is shrouded by the clouds. But the perks of it raining means that it's very cool at the moment. It's not hot here at all. Ambient temperatures are pretty nice and low. Let's get a little closer to these ponds. I think you're not even allowed to dip your feet inside. It's prohibited. I'm not sure, this kid's doing it. But look, you can see the series of fountains all along this side of the pond, and it goes all the way right round. But from the sky, 
these blue ponds are in the shape of beautiful turquoise petals. It's really quite a sight to take in. I'm not sure if you can actually do an entire 360 around the Lotus. I think only parts of it are open to the public. This temple, along with other Baha'i temples, don't feature any sort of uh, imagery or statues or religious writings. That's all prohibited. So the interior, which I've not visited as of yet, I believe is quite neutral as the exterior color of this temple is. It's actually very fascinating to think that the marbles used on the exterior of this temple have been sourced all the way from Greece and it cost around about $10 million to construct totally. They say this monument is fascinating at night, especially when all the lights come on, but I can't see exactly where these lights have been tucked or hidden away. They've done a very good job of concealing the lights. Oh wow, I think the sun is gonna make its first appearance behind those gray clouds. And it's literally gonna be right on top of the pedal. Well, the blue skies behind me are starting to come out and the rain that fell a few minutes ago is starting to dry out pretty rapidly. So there's two main levels at this temple. There's this elevation that goes down to the pond level and then there's another one that is supported by concrete elevated walkways where you can go inside the temple. Now an interesting fact about this particular temple is that 20% of the electricity that it consumes is actually sustainable because there are solar panels scattered around the 26 acres of the plot of land in which it sits on and there's some of them just over there all right so i've exited the lotus temple i was actually in there earlier and i got to see the interior architecture but unfortunately i wasn't able to film inside because they don't permit it i don't know why that is there's plenty of images of the lotus temple the interior of the lotus temple on Google, but um, for some reason, still not allowed to film. The seating capacity of this particular temple sits up to about 1,500 people, and the seats are arranged in a semicircle shape that all look onto a sort of central podium that's not elevated in any way. There's just like a see through stand right in the middle. It's quite noisy here. Um, the turnout has once again ramped up. When I stepped inside the temple, there wasn't so many people. And it seems as though they've closed off all the pools but one. And so everybody's pretty much jammed here. I don't know why. It'd be nice if there was more space to walk around because um, it's kind of hard to find a pocket of silence. But the sun is setting now behind the temple. And actually to the right of where the sun is setting, there's a Iskon temple just over there, which I've yet to visit. Um, it looks quite nice from here. It features what look like three main pagodas. Yes, maybe I'll visit it in a future video. I think I'm done with the Lotus Temple. And so uh, I'm actually gonna exit the grounds, go collect my shoes from downstairs and then head on out. Um, but if you're looking for how to get here, the way I got here was I took the Metro from Ravik, Ravik Chok which is on the yellow line. And I went all the way to House Cuz. I changed from the yellow line to the magenta line. And then on the magenta line, I took the Metro going towards Botanical Gardens and got off at a stop called Oakla NSIC. And then I walked for the remainder of the way, which took about eight to 10 minutes to get here up a cobblestone path. It's quite easy to find. It's not too difficult. There's no need to get a tuk-tuk unless you're lazy, but you can get a tuk-tuk for uh, probably 50, 50 rupees. Uh, hello. I need to get my shoes. Oh, gotta go get my shoes this way. It's funny, I've been asked um, by a number of Indian people to take photos with them. And uh, it seems though they don't see a lot of white folks here. It's quite interesting. Anyway, maybe I just look cool. Maybe I'm a cool guy and people want to take photos with me. But, uh, I'm gonna collect my shoes from here. I do need to give this little, this little wooden talisman. Thank you. Those are my shoes indeed. Anyway folks, while I sit here and put on my socks and shoes, um, I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and share this video with friends and family, and I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care, and bye for now.